Um, so this is just basically thinking about how you're going to outline your essay. Obviously, spend a couple minutes dissecting the prompt to figure out what it's asking you, figure out what you're looking for, and really look hard to see if the text you're reading is going to have irony or sarcasm of any kind. Like, try and be really aware right away, because if so, you know that you need to read it with that kind of lens through it. So, obviously, the first thing you want to do once you've read is do your soapstone, um, because then you can just turn that into a per se, and that's your intro paragraph. If you don't have time for that, slap a thesis on that baby. Things to think about for your thesis statement. Um, you know, try to get sort of, it's not really a counterclaim because it's not an argument, it's analysis, but that subordinate clause in there, try and make sure you've got that. Although, da 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 da, or one might think something like that. Try really hard not to list something, comma, something, and something. Try really hard not to do that. Um, but think that overall, this first intro paragraph, whatever it is, if it's a per se, if it's a thesis, remember that the most important thing is you're trying to think what is their claim and then think, do they have a difference between their, their um, intrinsic claim, intrinsic, <laughs> intrinsic claim, um, or um, why can't I think of what's the opposite of intrinsic? Intrinsic? Is intrinsic the word I'm trying to say? Intrinsic? Not intrinsic. Their implied claim. I don't know where I'm going with this. You know what I mean? <laughs> their claim that they're stating outright and then the claim that's um, sort of implied or under the surface. Try and see if there's any differences in claim. Focus on the claim. That's really the driving force of your argument. Now, there's two ways you can construct your essay. One is to construct it by device, so grouping your paragraphs together. For instance, one paragraph is just about tone, and one paragraph is just about um, the type of evidence, and one paragraph is about the shift or whatever. The better essay, but the more challenging essay, so you might not do it if you, if you just don't feel confident in whatever you're reading, um, is, chronological. So this is where you will split the passage um, into threes is probably the best. And then your paragraphs talk about the beginning, the middle, and the end. So for instance, if in the beginning they're giving a lot of great evidence that's anecdotal, you might talk about their use of anecdotal evidence. And then it shifts to a um, more uh, sarcastic tone with biting wit, but at the end they sort of have an amicable ending with an extended metaphor, and so you're talking about the figurative language. So that is a better essay because what it does is it establishes the line of reasoning, so you can kind of follow how they built their argument, um, and your essay follows it. So if you feel confident in your essay writing, I would recommend trying the chronological. Device essays are totally fine. Um, it's just that they they aren't as sophisticated i guess so device essays usually get about a six or a seven which is awesome um and chronologicals are where you can get into those eight and nines on your essay remember you're only writing the one on this so it's kind of kind of like a scale of zero to five here um and then of course if you can slap a conclusion um onto it in fact this might be where you could kind of clear up some things so if in your introduction you said that you know, something about the rhetorical situation, you might want to refer to that again. Um, what does this rhetorical situation mean for uh, society, the world, historically, especially if you know who the speaker is or you know the event they're speaking about, talk about that rhetorical situation as much as you can, okay? Um, 